submit, bull. Never. Why bit? Why bit? I'm afraid your friend is dead. In Made Up Onia, there are many eccentricities. There are people whose brains are in their legs, and so they must walk upside down to survive. There are people who believe that the king is heavier than a cathedral. And there are people who like sport. But the most eccentric are the North men. Alcohol runs in their veins, and they can only communicate in a very loud dialect. This anecdote has no bearing on the story whatsoever. We are totally not going to meet a Northman in this part of the story. Yes, totally not going to meet one. I don't understand. He died. But he died so... hilariously. I regret it was a desperation move. He put up good fight. That elephant was... impressive. Well, I guess I return home now. White Bit is dead, the Sword of Purpose is broken, and... Wait... Where's the armor of doing things? Ah! That is part of my great plan. Your... plan? Oui, oui. I shall show you everything now for no particular reason. Follow moi. Ooh. Ooh. Zombies? No. He's just... Hungover. Oh, 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 my head. So, your plan is alcohol? Yes. If the soldiers are drunk, then they lose their fear of death. Along with the control of their legs. That is what we are working on here. Our men are practicing battling whilst drunk. I'm gonna stab you in the f Face! Oh, I'm sorry, I love you, man. They're still training. Why don't you just create a potion that removes all fear? I'm sorry? Or... Wait! You could summon large animals at will! Why don't you use an army of tigers, or something other than drunk people? Look, I've never been one for strategy. I just used to hit things, but the other side does that too, and we've been stuck for decades since. Do... Do you need a hand? <gasps> that would be marvelous! When can you start? The wooden spiders will be coated with oil and set on fire. They will charge through the enemy for a few minutes before exploding. The leaping crocodiles can wait in the boat and they will jump and eat anyone who comes out of the drawbridge. If the prisoner won't talk, just cut off a body part and offer to grow back if they'll tell you everything. No! No halberd! Ugh, what am I doing? The right thing, John. I will leave you to plan. I need to check on the progress of the killer ants. Psst! 
Snake! Oi! I'm not a snake! Your weak needs pillock! Who the elf are you? I'm here to spring here, of course! You've been enslaved by the dark creatures! No, no, they're not that bad! I don't care if they've been feeding your chocolate haggis! Come with me if you want to live, you scruff! Or what? I thought this was a rescue. I could rescue you without your arm. We'll see about that. You didn't have to do that, you know. Or be quiet, your pansy. If I did my way, you'd be dead. So who are you? Hamish McBad's kidnapper? It's just McKidnapper! Oh, my apologies. And less of that lip, or they'll start calling me Hamish McStab in the bum! But why are you rescuing me if you're a kidnapper? Right! Your other arm's going off! So where are we actually going? Or will I lose another limb for asking that? Oh, I've had it up to here with ya! Here's the map! Read it! Uh, this map's blank. Of course it is! No one in the north can read! Then how do you know where you're going? A spirit guides me. Telepathically, it borns and entwines me. Rich vocabulary for someone who can't read. That's it! You've lost your legs! Good afternoon. Are you the king's last living descendant? Uh, yes. <laughs> now there is nothing to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Murder that has nothing to do with me! Smart plan. Now you have to carry me and I've run out of limbs. Can we have a conversation now? <sighs> Alright. Where are you taking me? And who do you work for? I'm taking you to the elves. No! Why are you taking me there? I don't know. I'm just following the spirit. Why do you hate the elves? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Um, good morning. Are you an elf? I'm sorry. You'll have to speak up. Our intelligent ears find it difficult to pick up such a flawed, mortal frequency. Yeah, I heard them already. Who's a mortal, enlightened company do you seek, flawed mortal? I seek a great spirit that guided me and my, uh, companion. Prisoner! Ah, you flawed mortal should speak to, nor less on. Can you take us to him? Of course, though. Your puny, flawed, mortal legs may find it difficult to keep up with me. Just take us there, or we'll see how immortal those legs are. Ah. Welcome, mortals, to the most enlightened place in the universe. Hi. I would shake your hand, but... You're welcome, mortal. Alas, your flawed mortal touch would break our immortal, intelligent skin. Alright, enough talk. Where's the spirit? He's right here. But be warned. He's not very happy. Not very happy? You idiots! You half-witted, incompetent idiots! 
Father? Thank <laughs> you.